Here we have for sale our 2018 on an 18 plate Peugeot Boxer. This is the 335 model, meaning it's got a 3.5 ton gross vehicle weight. This one's got the two litre blue HDI diesel engine. There's my dog in the background, decided to make a, an appearance uh, with 130 brake horsepower. This is the L4 uh, drop side, this is the professional spec. And we'll, so what we're going to do in this video is have a little walk around. I'll show you in detail the condition of this particular vehicle. And we'll also have a, uh, a good look at the spec which you get on a professional model as well because there's a lot of spec on these uh, Peugeot boxes which is very uh, nice to see. Uh, and as I say, this vehicle is currently available for sale at the time of recording. So we're also talking through things like the previous ownership and the service history as well. So starting here then at the business end of the vehicle, and that is at the back here. Um, so as I say, we can see that this one is specced with the fantastic CPD uh, bodies uh, alloy drop side uh, body. Um, really, really nice condition down the side of this drop side. So you can just see here how clean and straight this is down the side. So the previous owner of this vehicle, this is one owner from new, um, this vehicle was used for traffic management. So things like cones and what have you in the back, road signs. Um, so say not really having any hard, hard, heavy use like uh, say for instance a, you know, a building contractor and things like that. Uh, as I say, that would explain um, a sort of the mileage on the vehicle, uh, but also the cleanliness of it as well. But looking really, really clean and tidy. You can uh, operate the drop size using these handles just here. So you pull them up to the top, like so. Sorry, difficult to do with one hand. You just need to push it in slightly to be able to push the handle up. That allows you then to drop the tailboard down. You can do exactly the same with the sides as well. And I've laid a tape out here just so you can see exactly the length of the body. So you can see here uh, just over 13 and a half foot or just over 4.1 uh, meters there uh, in the back. And this is where we can also see the condition of the bed here in the back. And as I say, it is used of course, but in very, very nice condition. We have uh, of course fully prepared the van. So we've repainted this um, upstand here at the back which does set it off very nicely and as if we have a good look here underneath at the chassis all in really good order as I say of course it is used but all in all looking very nice 15 inch steel wheels of course on the Peugeot Boxer and as I say you can always tell that I say this particular vehicle is the L4 because that's where an L3 would stop and then there's the extension there for the L4 so really good length on this and as I say this has all been freshly painted down here as well. Side marker lights on the vehicle as well then and let's continue to go around the outside of the vehicle. If I pop the tailboard back up here lock that into place we can have a look just down below so we can see that we've got the ball and pin uh, tow bar and that has got the seven pin electrics there as well and you can also see we've got a reversing camera on the back of the vehicle but again these are the sorts of areas this rear bumper here these are the sorts of areas where these sorts of vehicles get reversed into things but you can just see how clean and straight that is very very smart single rear wheel axle uh, but what that means that gives you the maximum payload on the vehicle and it is front wheel drive this particular boxer let's say looking down the side side of the bodies are very very nice and I say be an alloy as well of course for maximum lightness and then that is to improve your payload there is a scratch here down uh, this particular part underneath and then if we start to have a look at the cab I say this is where you get I say all the spec so I say this one's got the two liter blue HDI so you, this is Euro 6 you can take this into the ultra low emission zone areas such as central London and say producing 130 brake horsepower and a six-speed manual gearbox. Having a look at the cab then, a few marks to show you here. So there's tiny little sort of pin dents just here and little touch-ins here or there. Nothing, I would say, nothing major. But I'd say a couple of small little marks just there to show you. Moving then into the cab, in really nice condition here in the cab. So looking at the driver's door card, all in really good order. Slight little uh, mark just there. We have electric windows and electric mirrors up here on top. Looking at the driver's seat, plenty of adjustability on the driver's seat. So this is adjustability for the back of the seat. This is adjustability for the height on the front of the seat. You've got a backrest adjustability and lumbar support just there, which is one thing that catches a lot of people out on the Peugeot boxes and Citroen relays is that the handbrake is on the opposite side. Doesn't take long to get uh, used to though, but lovely condition here 
of the driver's seat and you've also got the adjustable armrest there's a little wheel underneath there so you can set that to your desired height but really really nice condition there is two keys with the vehicle there's one full remote like this and then there's also a non-remote spare key with the vehicle uh, multi-functioning steering wheel on the left hand side then you can control the volume for your radio and on the right hand side you've got your onboard computer controls you can also answer and hang up the phone so you've got bluetooth phone prep on here as well look at the mileage in 99,096 miles and you can see here that the vehicle is running it's idling correctly there's no warning lights or anything like that on the dashboard it's all up to temperature as well which is very nice to see six speed manual gearbox as i mentioned so really good on the motorway these vehicles you can see we've got a rubber overmat throughout the cab here as well and then looking at the spec in the middle here and this is where the professional sort of really comes into its own so we've got air conditioning fantastic for uh, this time of year some of the weather we've been having recently and then on the screen here you can see that we've got a tom tom sat nav here which is built in if you click on the view map element and say this is where you've got your uh, sat nav starting to work here which is very very nice if we go on to the radio page you can also see that we have got dab radio on here and as i say this is where you can connect your phone as well via bluetooth if i put the vehicle into uh, reverse we've got the screen up here which has got your reversing camera on as well so it's very very nice to see that 12 volt socket over here a couple of cup holders you've also got in the center here there's a little fold up uh, clipboard so all very good I'd also like to show you the service history. So as I say, this vehicle has done a few miles, but as I say, we have got a nice service history with it. It's one owner from New Remember. So uh, two services on this page, one at 31,000, one at 51,000, and then a further two here as well. So uh, December 20 at 69,000, and uh, September 21 at 85. Upon arrival with us and during our preparation, we have fully serviced the vehicle along with uh, a new MOT. That actually included new rear brake discs and pads as well. Fold down work tray in the middle, couple of cup holders there, and also somewhere to store your paper, another little clipboard just there as well. Bit of extra storage underneath then, and there is actually a little hidden USB port just up inside there. But really nice condition in the cab. We'll continue to go around the outside of the vehicle, having a look around the front here. Just having a good look at the bodywork, as I say, a couple of little touch-ins, minor little dings or dents, but nothing, nothing of any great severity. If I'm honest, the front bumper's looking in really good order. No issue there. And the front grille as well, no problems here at the front. Of course, a couple of stone chips and things like that, as to be expected. Little mark there, probably the most severe on the vehicle, I would say. And again, that just kind of a testament to its overall condition. Maybe a slight little crease here in this wing here as well, and a little hairline mark. I'm going to say, very presentable indeed. And a very practical, usable vehicle, ready to go straight away, as I say, freshly serviced and MOT'd with that fantastic load space in the back and as they all the uh, spec in the cab including the sat nav the air conditioning bluetooth etc and of course lovely service history one owner from new and just been right through our workshop for full service and MOT as I mentioned as well if you'd like to inquire or see the full advert of this vehicle including the photography the description and the price please head over to our website bridgeendvans.co.uk we've advertised this vehicle very very competitively so I can't imagine it being here for long so if you are interested please don't hesitate to get in contact. We will welcome inquiries on either of the numbers listed here at the bottom of the sign. We can take cars or vans in part exchange. If it's something that you'd like to put in part exchange against this vehicle, by all means, let us know. We can by all means uh, give you an accurate price on that. We can arrange finance at very competitive rates, starting as low as 7.9% APR. That goes for businesses and for private individuals as well. And we could deliver our vans nationwide. Thank you very much for watching.